Oh yes, the Broken Pencil Project, Part 3. Everything was in slow motion. The curve of each letter gently moved to take shape. Its rightful place in formation. Words hung low. Words really hung low. Silence was viscous, thick and unyielding. Nothing poured out. And in, in such moments I think who holds me in this life cup? Why does the asking not go away? Why doesn't it leave me? Who holds the keys to time and its strange and unpredictable permutations? And I move again through this road that leads elsewhere. How does this shifting of my own senses help? Fragility, unworldliness, absolutely no poetic causeways to walk through. I remember the time. And sometimes the world shifts right inside my soul. It takes refuge there. It takes refuge in my own phraseology. And who keeps vigil? In such times, who keeps vigil? When, when do I let go of my own stillness and, and trade it for the noise outside? Because staying in was nice. It is always nice. And, and therein, a cup of coffee brews in the heart. Poetic beans slow roasting themselves into a delicious crema. They move away from my silences. And when poetry wears music, a strange question again seizes the heart. The longing shifts, the noise surges, and then and, and falls down into a space the heart so desires. And I want to move into the sanctum that has the body totally silent and quiet and, and, and just a heap of words piling the music. It's where the soul floats and a soul unwrites when it accepts everything. It unwrites when it accepts everything. The Drowning keeps calling. The undoing keeps revolving a space wider than the gaping holes in the sky. A slow waltz. A string of dead phrases beaten up by repetition like old books that have, that have exchanged hands too often. Have been read too many times. Their pages dog-eared and I swim in a sea of words I don't want to pick on. Poems hurt, and yet they don't sprout. They're just aching to, but they don't sprout. They shift into another mind. And still the words hurt. I have nothing. The over-eating and dying of acidity. Over-eating words. And dying of acidity caused by too much unresolved poetry and the escaping into spaces right between the words is like it's like it's like going into some extraordinariness that i want to understand but i cannot decode and then that urge to fall back to flow back it's all a part of some divine plan a design i don't understand cannot decipher the ordinariness of words that sit individually gains a sense of purpose and and this ordinariness belongs to me but what's special is the silence between those words that have been strung together by some invisible clue a sense of poetry but that's not yet revealed to me and I just want to keep looking for it till I find it, 
till this broken pencil finds another point. Not a point of view, but a point to go on scribbling. But for now, I want to remain in this pointlessness, this aimless, wide open space, this infinite possibility of just being.